microtransactions are ruining video games. There is a modern and dangerous trend in the gaming market of adding microtransactions to all single player and multiplayer games. Some developers and publishers argue that microtransactions enhance the player's gaming experience by improving the game quality. Activision and EA are the paladins that defend this premise. These publishers state that this is done for the player's convenience by providing shortcuts to achieve a specific in-game objective in trade of more cash and money. Really? We have to ask the question, why is there a boring and grindy bad objective in the game in the first place? Why do we have to pay more money to get over a terrible section of the game? You want an example? I'll give you one. In the Shadow Wars chapter of Shadow of Mordor, the game actively encouraged the players to acquire loot boxes to make the constant siege battles easier because the player gets more powerful orcs that makes this entire grindy process a breeze. This practice is unacceptable. You want another example? Fine! Star Wars Battlefront 2. Multiplayer progression is tied to acquiring loot boxes. Fantastic dice, fantastic EA, great concept, bravo! Let's go a little more in depth with this dangerous trend of microtransactions. In Shadow of War, the game allows the player to buy single player content through the form of loot chests, war chests, XP boosts, upgrades, new orc followers, etc, etc, etc. As Angry Joe states in his angry review about Shadow of War, this practice is just a marketing experiment to soften the players to the idea of microtransactions. This testing of the waters, this experiment, is done so that in the future developers expect to create games more heavily influenced by microtransactions in order to make fast revenue. And the funny thing is that if this keeps on, the public will indeed accept this practice, which must never come to fruition. In the grand scheme of things, developers and publishers only want to acquire more money by attacking the player's wallet. The fundamental point is this, microtransactions ruin the entry level and balancing system of multiplayer games. Multiplayer games should be focused 100% on skill and ability and not on weapon stats that are acquired through in-game purchases. Microtransactions also damage the quality and story flow of single player games. Just look at the Shadow Wars chapter of Shadow of War. Unnecessary grindy siege battles that are made easier by acquiring loot boxes. If this practice is not contested, developers will continue to include microtransactions in all games. They will be encouraged to design systems that favor money acquisition instead of gaming quality. Not all is grim, there are some states that are passing laws, legislation that heavily regulates or prohibits loot boxes. USA, United Kingdom, Belgium, China, Japan, the Netherlands, France, South Korea, New Zealand, Australia, Singapore, Sweden, Norway and Denmark have been the pioneers in regulating this plague that is loot boxes. I hope that you enjoyed this video and we are signing out. Scarabus Gaming is signing out. I'll see you soon for more gaming discussions. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Cheers.